Rumi puts her hands on me and we lock lips, my boy. Then Christy takes my face and we lock lips again. Now my heart's beating fast. Blood stuff flowing through my body. Now I can feel it. I'm brick. Two brick, I'm ready for the two be one special. Then Christy goes, you ever been with two girls? Oh, <laughs> lick. Now I know what you're thinking. Damn. Tim, oh no, 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 my god, no, the Diddy freak off. Come on, come on, come on. Open up, elevator. Tim, get over here, daddy. Leave my butt alone, Diddy. Help, help, help. I don't want to go to the freak off. Mm, that ass is mine, man. See, here's the thing there's a couple reasons why kids go to college. First, to get lit, my boy. Trust me. Most kids don't go to college for the books. Mm -mm. That has nearly 40% of students drop out in just the first year. They trying to party. Never been to a college party? Ooh, with some of the best moments of my life. Second, to get late. Now for the uninitiated, this is the most important step in your life. See, in college, you get a second chance to lose your V-card. That is, if you haven't lost it in high school. See, from experience, I've come to find out most college kids are capping. Majority of them are still virgins. But see, that's where college College comes in. See, college offers virgins their first time out of their parents' house, where there's no rules, no curfew, no one's breathing over your neck, and you're finally 18. I can't tell you how many times I walked down the dorm hallway and I could hear the squeaky sounds vibrating through the wall. My man's cocking. See, before leaving for college, my mom sat me down and kept it real. Tim, before you leave, here. Condoms. You better not come back here with no diseases and definitely no babies. See, my mom's older, mature, and wiser. And just like most parents, you knew what exactly goes on on college campus. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my college years. So it's freshman year in college. Now when you get to college, the first thing that happens is you get assigned to a roommate. But here's what they don't tell you. You never want a bad roommate. Trust me, it can make or break your whole college experience. Now in order to keep everything cool, you need roommate rules. Rule number one, keep the room clean. The worst thing you can have is a messy roommate. So make your bed, throw away your trash, clean your dishes, do anything and everything to keep the spot clean. Rule number two, set the rules for quiet time. As for my roommate and I, quiet time was between midnight and 7 a.m. Any other times, all bets are off. Rule number three, but most importantly, always inform the other person when you have company coming over. Now for this, you need the sock trick. If a sock's on the door, it means do not enter. Someone's about to get this. Simple, right? And my roommate and I follow the rules to the T. Now in my school, freshman dorms were different from the others. See, we had co-ed dorms, meaning both male and females. But here's the thing. Females had to be on one floor and males on the other. Now the rules stated no opposite sex was allowed on each other's floor past 8 p.m. But come on, my God, who's gonna follow that? So one night I was chilling in my dorm room and then I hear a knock on the door. I get to the door, open it, and it's my girl Christy. Damn, Christy, what you doing here so late? See, your girl Christy was at my door past curfew. Now nah, I don't want to get in trouble, but at the same time, shoot, who's gonna say no to the gang? So I let Christy in, we get nice and comfortable, come to find out Shorty was bored and a little homesick. Now remember, penalties for being caught with a girl in your room past curfew is crazy. So I'm thinking, damn, Tom, it's either risk getting banned from the doors or clap some college cheeks. But then Shorty goes, can we chill with you? So I'm like, bragging? We? Who's we? Me and my roomie? Ain't no Wait, way, no my way, boy. Bro. Is Shorty saying what I'm thinking she's saying? Wait, no but then way, she goes, bro. I can bring my roomie so he can link up with your roomie. Dang. I thought Shorty was suggesting a little two be one. You feel me? So I'm like, cool. So I get the phone, call up my homie. I wait a few seconds and he's not answering. Come on, kid. Don't mess this up for me. I send him a few more text messages. Wait a little longer. Still no response. Now, I can't tell Shorty the truth, right? So I go. He said he's on his way. So Christy lives to get a roomie. I get in the shower, freshen up. A few minutes later, Christy pulls up with a roomie. And God damn, Shorty was bad too. Now, I'm over here thinking, God. So we get nice and comfortable. And a friend goes, where's your roommate? Now, I got to play cool, right? I can't find all this blessing. So I'm like, oh, he's on his way. But now, it's time to put out the secret juice. But, uh, so here's the thing. No students were allowed to have the juice in the dormitories. But come on, my God, your boy's about to get a dub. So I get to my stash, pour a little drink for the ladies, put on some of that nice love making music. Ooh, wait, we got the spot jump. I'm talking to music blasting so loud the whole floor can hear your boy. Now, this is where things got interesting. See, Christy and the woman wanted to play truth or dare. Now, for the uninformed, 
Truth or Dare is a party game where players are given a choice between answering a question truthfully or performing a dare. So Christy goes first. Tim, truth or dare? Uh, dare. I dare you to make out with me. Holy! This can't be real. So we get closer, lick up our lips, and start slobbing. I'm talking for an old French Christy, my boy. Now it's next, right? So I start thinking. Okay, Tim, you got two shorties and your room is not coming. There's only one thing to do. So I go, girls, I dare you both to hook up with me. Now the room gets quiet. They look at each other, look back at me. Now I'm thinking, uh oh, off on the bag. Damn, Tim, you were so close. But then Shorty goes, what about your roommate? Nigga, I'm thinking, motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga, boom. I could care less about my roomie. It's about me. So a roomie puts her hands on me and we lock lips, my boy. Then Christy takes my face and we lock lips again. Now my heart's beating fast. Blood stuff flowing through my body. Now I can feel it. I'm brick. So brick, I'm ready for the two be one special. Then Christy goes, you ever been with two girls? <laughs> oh, Link. No, you sure you can handle both of us? Remember, every man's dream. It's me and two beautiful girls in my room, and I'm about to clap double cheeks, my boy. Now I'm thinking, I need some getaway, some Red Bull, maybe even an oxygen tank. Then as I'm ready to get butt ass naked, but then I hear, open up, it's John. Damn. Now John was a school RA. That's the person in charge of enforcing the dorm rules. Remember, it's past curfew. I got two girls in my room, juice in my fridge, and blasting loud music. I can't let homie in. So I'm like, shh, Christy, you gotta hide. Hide where? The room's too small. So I look around, the bed's too small, and the closet's too tight. But from the corner of my eye, I see the window. And then it hit me. We're only on the second floor. Jump out the window, girl. Well, these girls are like, mm mm. But I'm not playing. I'm dead ass. Either you jump out the window or we getting expelled. Open up. Okay, fine. So I finally get to the door, open it. John looks in, and he's like, why is the music so loud? None. Just chilling. You ain't here by yourself? Yep. So John looks closer, makes sure no one else was in the room and goes, keep the music low, freshy. So he leaves the room and thank God, I duck getting caught in 8K. But at the same time, I missed out on the biggest opportunity of my life. But it's like they say, in life, you only miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Hello? Hey, yo, Tim, did you call me? Man, you missed out on some in my G? What? Dog, Chrissy and her roomie came over. Oh, Lord Jesus, call him back. You know I'm still a virgin, right? Oh, why, Lord, why? Hey, Facebook family. So, I just wanted to show y'all a cutesy little thing that I just found out. Um, and mom told me that I could have the liberty of showing y'all this video. So down here behind me is the boys hallway and down here is the girls hallway. Now up these stairs right here, which I will be two, two floors up. So third floor, you guys, they are co-ed. And mom is so excited about that, as you could tell. And that means boys, 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 boys. And that means, mama, I'm going to kiss boys. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Cooties. But anyway, yeah. that's all from me and mama. We're leaving. Dad's in the car. So, yeah. <laughs>